So you want to turn the hair over on itself like that. Th this is what we, what we call our, our turnaround. We refer to this as a turnaround. Generally, you'd like to keep it very short, uh, but for this, and because you're beginning, uh, what I'm going to do is basically fold the hair in half. We'll make it a longer turnaround, and that will make it a little bit easier for the beginner. Now, keep in mind that because we've created a, a, I mean, a longer turnaround, the length of your hair when you finish is going to be shorter. So the, lo the shorter the turnaround, the longer the length of your, your piece. So we'll just fold the hair in half. And sometimes you'll have little, you know, some hairs that are a little, little that are cut a little short. Uh, it's okay, you know, you're not going to get every single hair into the lace and uh, we'll make a couple of boo-boos here, but we'll just move forward. You're not going to get a, a very good knot with dry hair. You want to, to add moisture into the hair. And the way we do that is we take a, a cup of hot water and we'll, and we'll dip the hair into the water. So on this first half of your square, uh, I'll demonstrate the first knot. So what we're doing is we're taking the, the needle and we're placing it under, uh, under the lace and we're drawing and catching a piece of the hair. Bring it through the lace and we basically knot it on itself. And I'll do it a second time. So you just repeat the process. Oh, let's see, I want to get single hairs. And as you gain experience, you'll start becoming a little faster. So, I mean, that's generally the idea. Uh, this being the most difficult part of this entire lesson is getting that first knot tied. So what I'd like to do also is, is maybe just slow that down a little bit for you. It, through the lace, and you grasp the hair. It's just a slight tension between you know, the, the tool and your forefinger and thumb. And once you figure out that tension, uh, things will be a lot easier. But it's just, it just takes practice. You, know, you get that first knot, it's, it's it's a happy thing, happy day. So we've done a few knots now. Now what I want to do is show you each step. I want to take the the knotting tool underneath the, the lace, and I'll freeze there so you can see that. Now remember, you can you can see the tension that I have the lace at. You don't want it too loose, but you can see how there there is tension on the lace, and uh, that that's good tension between the needle and the lace there. So I'll, I'll hold that there so you can see that very clearly. And then the, the next step is we'll grab a piece of hair. And I'll freeze there. The next step is bringing it under. Now you're going to take your hair and wrap it and at the same time, move the tool back towards you. I'll freeze there. Now you're going to continue bringing the hair around towards you, and the needle goes away from you. And I'll freeze there. Now, you let the barb catch it, and you're coming through. I'll freeze there. Remember, you still have that tension there. Tension on your forefinger and thumb, tension on the needle and hair. Now you'll slowly bring the hair through, releasing here, and drawing the hair through.
So on this front half, I really want you to just concentrate on filling. Uh, uh, if you can do like every other hole, um, every other row, uh, just get comfortable with uh, the art of, of tying uh, knots on this first half. When we get to uh, this second half, uh, it's, we're going to concentrate on, on uh, trying to hit every barb, uh, every little hole. Uh, the reason being, uh, the reason I want you to capture every little hole here is I want you to become so familiar with the technique that when we go on to the next step of, of building your first mustache that it, uh, it becomes like second nature. And the only way to do that is to, uh, is to practice uh, and, and really uh, finish off this first square. So again, uh, I don't want to jump too far ahead of ourselves, but uh, what we'll do on this first half is uh, just continue to knot. And it's always good to have maybe a pair of tweezers handy as you're knotting and you, you feel like if your hairs begin to sort of splay, uh, you can uh, take a little, I mean, a pair of tweezers and, and just sort of, you know, if you have a loose knot, you can go back in and just brush it. You can already begin to see what's happening here. You're getting a nice little uh, uh, texture uh, amount of hair. Uh, we're not so concerned, again, with density at this point. Uh, so I'll take a little more hair. Uh, remember to do your turnaround. Just fold it in half. And uh, we'll dip it into some water. So, you know, just, I, I know that my, my speed is, is a little faster, and, and, and this is actually uh, quite slow for me, but, uh, you know, after about 20-some-odd uh, years, I won't tell you exactly how many, but I've been doing this for such a long time, and you'll get there, too. So just do every other hole, uh, and and don't worry about uh, don't worry about you know how things are looking at this at this stage. Uh, we're just trying to fill. So we'll stop there, and I think uh, what I wanted, what I want you to do now is uh, is to continue filling in that half of the square. Um, once you filled that in and you feel comfortable with where you're at, uh, you know, come back to me, and then we'll we'll do uh, the rest a little tighter, a little a little more a little more density to it, um, and then. Uh, We'll continue there.